This is part of a playlist on how to manage collaboration in Google Docs. In the first one, we talked about how to share. Uh, then we talked about how to make edits and use the uh, this this editing mode. Uh, and then we talked about how to accept edits uh, using um, the tools and and kind of the features that are built into it. Um, so at this point, what we want to do is to actually do some version control because we're going to have uh, get edits over time. There's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, the simple one, though, is to use the version history. And if we look, uh, so what we have is the option here to name the current version. Uh, and the idea is, is that if you look at, at version history, what this is doing, doing is showing uh, kind of what's been changed. So if you look here, uh, you know, this shows uh, the fact that, that Joe Bright made a change and another change. Uh, we're also seeing, just so you see it, uh, I, uh, a suggested edit that's showing up as well, although it's not named. Um, so the if we look at, uh, but we're not seeing kind of comments is the other one that we would be looking for. So uh, if we look at this list, this is a series of dates. Uh, and if we look at the twists, what we can do is to see what else is there. And this would show us the kind of the detail behind each of these. And what you can see is I've named this one. So if we click this slider up here, what it'll do is to show us just the name versions. And we can see an original draft discussed after a team call and then the current version. Um, and if we look at, uh, again, any, any number of these, we can see that for this one, there are seven edits and we're able to kind of walk who did what edits and understand exactly kind of you know what was there we also have the option of going back and saying you know there were changes that were made that we didn't like and we're actually going to re revert back to an older version you can do that and all that does is to take this version move it up to the top of the list but it still retains all the old history so you don't actually end up replacing the current version you're just restoring you're just making this older version the current one um, let's see other things you need to know let's see if you click um, there's just just off there's a couple of dots over here let me just kind of bring it over just so you can see it yeah a couple of dots here and that lets you rename it remove it make a copy if you remove the name you can see here that it's it's actually retained the date so this is just an overlay of this uh, of this name version um, and then for us to go back there's uh, an arrow here that takes us back and we can see we're now in our current version um, and uh, what we can do, the other option we have is to be able to uh, to do a, um, a file save as, really to make a copy here, right? And we can say, okay, we want to make a copy of this. And what's that going to do? So we can, we can go in and change the name and do whatever we need to. We're going to be saving it in this folder, which is a shared folder. So we don't need to worry about sharing it. But this is an interesting one because we're able to copy the comments and suggestions that are that are carried with this document uh, to the new document. And so if we click that and we do uh, a, a save, what we come back to is this. This is a, a shared version that I did. I just you can see I called it an S version. Uh, it still retained the the suggested edit. Um, and if we click in on the comment stream we have the full comment stream. Um, and so uh, the other, and we option to reopen. So that all, that all carried with it. Um, the only other piece then that is not there is if we go back and we said, if rather than this one, we actually didn't save all these pieces. Uh, and we said, let's go do that. Uh, here's an example of just a duplicate version. And what you're seeing here is that we did lose the suggested edit. We've lost all of the history. Uh, and if we look for versions, we're not gonna see any versions out here either. Um, so the version history basically comes up just blank with the current version. Um, so you know, that, that's uh, uh, you know, it's helpful to be able to look at ways to be able to capture information based on the way that your team is working together. Uh, and then lastly, we're, the last thing we're going to do, next step is going to be to focus on this idea of chatter and how does the chatter feature work. Uh, thanks, and uh, one more in the playlist.